Yo! Welcome to Game Side Chat, where we come to you every week with the video game stuff. Ooh, snap. I'm here with my brother from another mother, Austin Huff. Yo! Thank you for having me. Mr. Glad Austin, Mr. Show. Austin, how'd you feel at the end of the game, throwing that game-winning touchdown? Oh, it was... How'd it, how'd it good to get a, a winning game this, this Sunday, Mr. Kyler Murray? Dude, it was good. We got our first dub against a tough 49ers team that lost it all in the Super Bowl, but you kicked, still NFC you kicked the dog down while they were down. That's true. It was a big win. We really needed it. So Go we Cards. Are, we are in Phoenix, Arizona, of course. Mm-hmm. Cardinals fan. You're extremely hyped. I didn't know about this this thing till about right now. So yeah. that's cool. I'm, I I like having the passion. That's great. I'm a you know I'm a wild card. You know. We're looking to put the passion out there. You know what I'm saying? It's an exciting week for games. Exciting week for us. True that, dude. Dude, PS5 pre-orders just went cr- out like crazy, and there was a lot of craze for the PS5 orders. So I will tell you that. If nobody knows, if you didn't know that PS5 pre-orders happened, you may be too late. <laughs> no, you're definitely too late. <laughs> yeah, it definitely happened, and it ended. Um, uh, before the day even started. I thought it was funny because you remember PlayStation originally came out and it was like, we're going to tell you the day, we're going to tell you the time, you'll get your pre-order. Well, technically, I think that they they were, they, they came out, they had a presentation yesterday, mm. and uh, we're filming today on, on Thursday night, yeah. and uh, they, were, they said, hey, the pre-orders are going to happen on Thursday. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. They <laughs> came out Wednesday night. Uh, 12, uh, 12 o'clock Eastern time, so it was 9 o'clock our time. Is that when it happened? Yes. I remember you texting me. Are you you sent me that message on Instagram. And it was and I didn't read the message. I, I didn't, didn't either. I read the yeah, headline. we just saw the headline, pre-orders tomorrow. Tomorrow. And we Even put though, the message away. We're like, not cool, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. And for some reason, I went back to the messages, and it said, oh, <laughs> pre-orders are actually came out early, <laughs> and most of them were sold out already. And we ended up getting some on Best Buy, which is great. We really got very fortunate because I my Best Buy website crashed for sure. Yeah. yeah. And look, I got an extra pre order not to make money, but because for he friends loves, he loves me. Okay, you know? well, I was gonna put it out there that I got three pre orders. Come on, I put. I, okay, I got three pre orders. <laughs> some kid now is gonna be like, I hate this guy. I hate you. <laughs> I didn't make. I didn't get three pre orders to make money. I got three pre orders. To hand out to my friends because I know that they're gonna want one if they couldn't get one. Dude. So yeah, hit me up. Best price wins. <laughs> <laughs> to the highest bidder. To the highest bidder. Like, no. One thousand here. One thousand. <laughs> Two. What well, was funny is I, uh, I was drinking last night. Yeah. As I do. Do you, do you, you partake as? <laughs> you partake. I wish it could sound like a, a, I wish like I a religious do thing. Do you partake? Do you partake. I partake. Do you know the Leonardo DiCaprio thing where he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I tried to do that that right you now. Think it probably is not going to be as good as I thought it was. Oh my <laughs> but... god, dude. <laughs> no, so... I was talking about PS5 pre-orders. I was going to make a point right now. It was going to be great. Say your point. I don't remember the point. Ah. You distracted me. Yeah. Anyways, That's what I do. PS5 pre-orders, whatever, dude. If I think about it... Whatever. Yeah, whatever, dude. If I think about what it is, because we're going to talk well, about I would... PS5... All the good stuff happening, what we're excited about. So we'll get yeah. to that. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. What, were we, what happened yesterday? But first. But first. We got to oh. do icebreakers, man. But wait, there's more. Yeah, but well, sometimes there's less, depending uh, on the podcast you listen to. Ooh. So, icebreakers. If you could go anywhere in the world, Austin. Oh, yes. Where would it be? Dude. On vacation. You had England. 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 Okay, why? But I think that it's a a lovely a lovely town well, it's not a, a town. lovely town it's a country but you know it's just like what about england is like i need this uh crumpets and crumpets what's a crumpet uh it's a biscuit basically okay a biscuit <laughs> i don't All know right. they talk they talk cool over there they have stonehenge literally know. that's it london's bridge is cool you're supposed to get it's, it's supposed to be like this is your london. ultimate place you just throw yeah. out london or you had a real... i mean like there's so much stuff i want to do there okay yeah. you yeah. can't name any of them maybe there's some pretty british women there maybe that's the yeah. reason yeah. maybe you want a woman with a, an accent a woman with a british accent so if you're listening to this on youtube hello youtube hello you're british hi blonde my, or brunette mine ooh both yeah. If you're both a blonde and a brunette, hit up Austin. Yeah. Hi, my name is Austin Huff. I run a podcast. You run a podcast. That's sexy. Game side chat. 
what's crazy is we are partnered up with uh, Hide It Mounts now. You're dang right we are. That is a new sponsor we have. And the reason why that happened is because I love Hide It Mounts. I really do. Yeah. These mounts back here that you can see, they're floating uh, consoles and controllers on my wall. Um, I got this there. HideItMounts.com. They have all kinds of stuff. Mounts for TVs. All for bunch your, of stuff. For LED your, lights. Yeah, your gaming pot, your gaming uh, <laughs> consoles. Pleasure. Your gaming pleasure. Go yeah. to Hide It Mounts on checkout. Yep. Enter the code. GameSide. GameSide. Simple no as that. No capitals. One word. Game side just lets people know it that, gives you a discount. Yeah, it gives you a discount, and, and it gives us a discount. And supports you know the what show. I'm supports the show. Um, great way to get us out there. Um, yeah. Hide it mounts. Yeah. Game side's the code. Go just go check it out. If you like gaming and you like these mounts back here, check it out because I love them. Um, you can only be a sponsor if you meet certain criteria, and we happen to meet those criteria, so it's yes. great. Thank you to you to hide it mounts by the way. Yes, thank you to them. Subscribe on YouTube, like, tell your friends. Housekeeping's over. Nobody likes housekeeping. Oh, oh man, I do though. Do you have more housekeeping? Uh, did I put anything else? Nope. 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 Goodbye. <laughs> nope. Like those are <laughs> oh, like actual. Oh, we're at forty-four subs. Shoot. We're uh, we're almost halfway through. Sixty-six subs to go, and, and so I have to play Minecraft. We force in the Michael nude. to play Minecraft. You're gonna be breaking those trees with your fist, boy. What? You're gonna be breaking trees with your fist. Okay. All right. You'll understand when you get there yeah okay <laughs> yeah yeah okay so back to ps5 that's what everybody's talking about yes it happened yesterday the ps5 conference. showcase event yeah showcase showcase is so official you're gonna walk us through it from the beginning to end beginning to end i have to put on my real glasses because i'm blind as a bat yeah the reason we're just gonna walk through it because we don't want to miss anything and we haven't really talked about it yet and that's why we do that's why we do this podcast because we like talking games yeah. we're like yo if we're gonna talk games you might as well put a camera up and just do your thing that's true it's what did you think about the conference overall honestly like they came out guns blazing man like guns blazing gun pew, pew. like i feel bad for phil spencer because he's a really cool guy and like yeah i just feel bad for him you know him personally he's getting spanked no but he's getting spanked, he's getting spanked man yeah um i was thinking about this today i was like do you think eventually that like playstation will just completely take over does Nintendo count in that? Because they're doing really good, too. They're doing good. but I think you know, about whether Xbox is going to last. But, like, PlayStation and Nintendo are two different levels of gaming, you know? Nintendo exactly. is more family-related. PlayStation's like, I'm, I'm 20 years old playing by my, playing video games by myself, you know? Yeah, but yeah, a lot of Nintendo have fans both. have the nostalgia, so they are, like, in their 30s and 40s. Yeah. Um, There was a... I mean, yeah, I, I think about whether it's, like, man, two generations in a row for sony to slam dunk it like that's really good good on them though they know how to build well, they know how to market they know how to they make you want sell their product what they're selling exactly like when you see the ps5 i was like dude and that's the dream with any business you want to that. be the best yeah and they're going out they're doing good yeah at first like i think okay i think the xbox they're i'll say this okay i think xbox's approach to like the marketing team Phil Spencer and everything. I think they have the best approach. I do. This this generation, mm -hmm. I feel like they're doing great. Yeah. However, they just don't have the games. Like, when you watch their showcase, that's like, I'm excited to play that. I think they dug themselves into a hole because but last year, Sony built up a lot of relationships. Maybe people don't care, and they'll just keep playing on Xbox. I mean, I want them to come out with new IPs that are interesting and cool. Yeah. You know, I'm open to new IPs, but it's just like the showings weren't great. I think everybody feels that way. Do you feel that way or the showings on Xbox? Yeah. Yeah, because there's I mean, there's nothing that really screams at me besides Halo, you know? It was yeah. you know. I mean we say it every time, but <laughs> I know. It's really the only thing. But they're doing a good job on the business side of things, like they're I doing think, really good. I'll say this though, I really think that the Xbox like the case the how the xbox looks i think it looks better than the playstation oh shots fired Controversial. Uh, okay but i do like how it looks the actual xbox series x like a box it looks like a box but it it's simple. supposed to but playstation 4 was a, re a rom not rhombus a, a parallelogram a rhombus a rhombus breaking out the geometry dude i gotta tell you before we start okay okay so if you're watching this podcast, most likely you watched it last week, and you're like, yo, these people are crazy. <laughs> They're talking about Vin Not Diesel. Me. Here's a picture of Vin Diesel's shirt, like, in, in a thing. and Not bad look. 
so like I got this. So Austin gifted me a, a picture of Vin Diesel last week, just being goof, whatever. You know, that's what he does. He asked for it. <laughs> okay. So you did not ask. I for accept it. your gift. Yeah. And what do happily. I do? I, I I have it in here. I just put it up. I didn't think about it. I'm like, it's memories. Cool. Mm-hmm. So I got a new couch in this room this yeah. weekend. Oh yeah. Yeah, which included yeah. some movers. Oh snap! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot. So. <laughs> Listen, uh, <laughs> so the movers come in and they're, you know, he's speaking Spanish. He doesn't speak any, like, he, he speaks English, but yeah. he's not speaking English to his coworker. They're going at it, you know, blah, 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 you know, blah, 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 move the couch, blah, 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 you know, puto, blah, 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 all this stuff. Yeah, they're cursing at each other, all this stuff. And uh, they bring my couch in, everything's cool. I'm like, thanks, guys, you know, you need anything, beer, water, anything. And this dude looks over at this picture of Vin Diesel in my room and he's just like, Orale. <laughs> he's like, you like the Vinny, huh? And I'm like, what? He's like, oh, yeah, he's Mr. Buffman. You have a picture of him. Like, I hate to be vulgar, but this dude must think I <laughs> this picture of Vin Diesel. <laughs> he must think that I <laughs> to this picture Stop. of Vin Diesel in my room. Because why would I have a picture of Vin Diesel in my room? He straight up asked me about it. He's like, he's like, what, you, oh, you like Vin Diesel, huh? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I don't know what to say. I'm like, You're no, like, dude. I love him. I'm like, <laughs> like, I have a video on YouTube. Like, you know, it's just funny. It's just for fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It doesn't end there, bro. <laughs> the that next... is great. That was my all my intentions. That so <laughs> okay. see it. So, my neighbor comes over. Oh, okay. We're hanging out, you know. Turns out, you know, we're having conversations and all that stuff. Everything's cool. Mm. You know, taking some shots. Hanging out. Okay. I got an LED lights in here. We're just vibing. You know, do 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 do, and he just looks over behind him, and he sees this picture of Vin Diesel in a white beater, you know, flexing, and all he says is he just he just says he takes a shot and he's like, huh, a lot of confusion. I think you, I think this is something you've been holding in that you love Vin Diesel, and now everyone. Knows. I wish we could show the camera of where Vin Diesel is in this room because it looks like I have a shrine devoted to him. And then there's like a bunch of cars around it. Dude, it's like, <laughs> hey man. Hey, I mean, there could, it could be worse. So thanks a lot. You're welcome. Well, so I, hey, I'm like, should I throw it away or should I just no. mess with people? You gotta keep it. You know, it's drawing oh, so much attention. Man. They're like, hey, wh- where can I find that? On GameSide Podcast. GameSide Podcast. Hey, you want to find out what happens with that picture? And Michael, you want to see what happens when those two combinations come together? Go to YouTube.com slash, I was about to say kind of funny games, <laughs> to Game GameSide side Chat. chat. And check it out. There you go. You might be featured. There you go. All, All right, right, bro. PS5. Kick, kick into it. The PS5 showcase event was yesterday, Michael. It was great. I'll tell you what. 2021 it is like going to e- be amazing. It felt like E3, right? Dude, yeah. But yeah. hopefully I don't keep this as an E3 kind of thing. But, dude, this was good. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. What was your... Oh, so so do, you wanna do, do you want me to ask your favorite part now or do you want to just roll through it? Maybe just tell me like later on in the show. Let's roll I'll, through it. Let's roll through it. Be like, I'll just tell me what's your Gatorade get hype moment when we get there. Okay, Gatorade get hype moment. All right. All right. <laughs> Doritos play of the game. Uh, start off the show. Final Fantasy 16 was announced, which we expected that that game needed to be announced because it's been yeah. a couple years since Final Fantasy 15. That's true. Final Fantasy. I'm not a big Final Fantasy guy. Dude, you've played a little more than I do. Jace Woodburn has played a lot of Final Fantasy. Oh, Jace loves Final Fantasy. Yes. He loves Kingdom Hearts, all that good stuff. So hey, I love Kingdom Hearts too, but I just have And he fun. likes those stuff. So it went from Final Fantasy XV was like the more futuristic style. Yeah. And this style is the more uh, fantasy. It's more of a, like a Knights of Round Table kind of feel is yeah. what I was getting. Yeah, this, they have summons and the summons are like super epic. And they're kind of bringing the combat from the last two games, morphing them together and putting them into this awesome thing. Because I think that they're, they're not trying to get away from the turn-based combat. Yeah. I think it, it may be better because ter- I feel like turn base is kind of like very old now. It's just slow paced. It is. It's not that it can't be done well. It's just slow paced and people want action. They want fun. That's true. So, uh, I'm not a big Final Fantasy guy, but I know there's dude, plenty it looked, of people. It looked beautiful. Uh, it definitely interested me. No, that's cool. That Dude. And it's a PS exclusive. That is crazy. It's huge. That is insane. Because when's the last time they did that? was like i don't know but it's been a while final and it, it was originally a place well it's been around final fantasy started on nintendo yeah. and it's moved around it was it's still multi 
a console, but now coming back home, coming people say you know home, quote unquote, back to PlayStation is a really big win for them because they're kind of battling ex- Xbox with just exclusives. That's like that's the big battle these days. Yeah, that's how you're gonna win people over is where you're, where the game's at. Yeah, that was beautiful. It was it was a great showing. It definitely interested me. So it was, was like, like boom, I try it out. Final Fantasy 16. Let's go. Um, was there a release date? Are we unsure? Nothing yet. Well, 2021, I think, was what they said. 2021, probably. Yeah. They didn't say a lot of release dates, but everything came out afterwards as, like, a press, like, kind of blog yeah. thing. Yeah, we'll get into that for yeah, sure. Yeah, because I don't know all the dates because I didn't do the research on that part, but don't yeah. hit me. I'm going to fix the thing, so what's the next thing that happened? So, the next thing, and this was my Gatorade get hyped moment. Spider-Man Mor- Miles Morales. Dude, we knew it was going to be there. Obviously. But I want to know, is it coming out at lunch? Is it? It is. It is. You knew this, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They but didn't say like, it at the conference. But clarity. They kept saying say holiday. Yeah. And I think they assumed because... Because if you're going to release a game a month before I, a console, it's that's pretty dumb. Or after, yeah. 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 I mean, a month after, yeah. That's and it's coming to PS4, too. Which is great. Yeah. That's that, good. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. So, uh, we got to see some gameplay. Dude. So, the biggest thing I noticed is... Uh, the ray tracing, right? So, ray tracing is where you can, instead of, like, having to create the light, like, in the space, you simulate it. It helps really, like, put the game together. And it's yeah, so beautiful, honestly. Like All the different color lights and then the reflections would be in that same color. Like, it was legit. Because the whole gameplay we saw was at nighttime. Yeah. But, yeah, it looks so great. What was your, what was your favorite part about it? The bus sequence, bro. The bus sequence? The, the bridge, I mean. Dude, the, the music. I'll, this, I wrote this in my notes. The bridge sequence is the new helicopter scene from Spider-Man PS4, like the original one. Yeah? You know how he's like has the helicopter swinging over the cities and he has to like... That was cool. Know, yeah. Yeah. That was when you were like, that's not going to be a playable part of the game, and it was. Yeah. That's going to be the same thing, you know? Yeah, no, that game looks really cool. Um, what I think is really cool about it is that... Um, it is like the same type of game like spider-man mm. but they they really bring in the character into it with the, even the music changes and that team does a really good job of the the sound design in that game is insane like they record yeah. like uh, different lines like whether you're like walking or running and all that yeah i think that's a big thing with even the spider-man the spider-verse movie was like miles oh, yeah. different and he has like the different like music. a good taste in music yeah <laughs> some rhythm but are we gonna play sunflower in this game at Sun- all that oh. you have the sunflower dude you know what i didn't realize right you now the is that you know how they had different skins in spider-man yeah the suits totally gonna have the spider-verse one in there oh in the yeah game. well i yeah. mean it's, it's pretty similar to it but yeah he will have it yeah like the spray painted thing that's i'll really be interested cool. to see what kind of suits he has because i don't know miles as much as peter does as peter. there's a lot of comics i'll have to check it out yeah so obviously that was a banger of course the main bad i'm gonna have to say that's probably my my favorite part too like i was watching it with albert yeah albert if you're watching this what up playa um <laughs> he said he'd watch it if you said it what up playa that's what he says <laughs> so um Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. You were watching with Albert? Yeah, and he was like, dude, this is crazy. He's like, I've never played a game like this before because he is a huge gamer, but mm-hmm. he hasn't been – he he doesn't play PS4. He never got it. Yeah. He's like, dude, this is crazy. He's like, I'm almost scared to play this. Like, this looks insane. Mm-mm. And I was like, you know what? Don't be scared. Yeah, I was like, dude, I think all of us feel that way. Even ones that played the other Spider-Man games, we still feel like this looks insane. Because we're like – when the first Spider-Man came out, I was like, is this real, dude? Yeah. Like, we all said it. Freaking awesome, dude. Oh, man. All right, what was next? That's you know, Spider-Man. Like, before we get to it, though, but, like, you, you can buy the Ultimate Edition, and it has the first Spider-Man game. So, like, Remastered. someone like Albert that didn't play the original Spider-Man right. game, yeah, they can play it and Miles for, what, 70, 80 bucks? 80 more bucks. Like 80 so bucks. Means you get, and you get all the DLC. Which is a smoking deal because two games for 80 bucks. And they said there's going to be three new amazing suits i'll reap i'm gonna totally replay which means it. it's totally gonna be the amazing spider-man suits because oh. they never did that for the first game i'm gonna totally replay it so be cool you uh, are I, I don't think i'll replay it i don't know that was a great game it is but i don't i don't think i'm gonna replay it i think i'm gonna get the standard edition because i want to get a couple games go ahead before we move on the tinker is the main bad it's a, a little different from their traditional tinkerer but it's okay it's cool in moderation moderation it's okay okay it's okay 
Because it's a woman? No. If he, if anything, it's better because it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> really? Explain. Well. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it's you're better because it's, better it's a woman. You ever okay. hear that thing where you go into a, a history class and you it's a woman's history class and you're saying... No, what? Oh, wait. I'll let you finish. And <laughs> you go into a woman's history class and you're the only guy there and you're like, I'm tired of hearing about his story. I want to hear about her story. Boom. <laughs> best guy in the room <laughs> <laughs> what is a woman's history class i don't know it's a thing you've been into like you've accidentally walked into probably it's probably a class at right. a university it's like underwater basket weaving that's real class what underwater basket weaving no way it is straight up a real class like in your school and not at mine it is at like what do they wear scuba gear <laughs> they're yes underwater. they're underwater they wear scuba ba- gear and they <laughs> <knit? weaving> baskets <laughs> How much did the baskets cost? I don't know. I didn't look in too much into it. I just thought it was a real thing. No way. It is. Are they on drugs while they're doing this? Uh, I mean, I don't know if you can be underwater. Like, <laughs> you like you definitely to, to can be, the, be. To make the best quality basket. <laughs> you must be one high, two underwater. <laughs> <laughs> two rules. I want to know if they're going back up to the surface and they're like snorkeling <laughs> or if they're wearing scuba gear and they can do the whole thing. Because as you know, icebreaker. I love to scuba. Oh, there you go. It's yeah. Great. Yeah. Michael is, are you still certified as a scuba? Yeah. I'm certified diver. I love it. It's great. Look at that. Yeah. Um, we're, 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 we're one game in. Congratulations. We're two games in. Okay. We're two games yeah. in. Is that like Take 30? that, you prick. Okay. <laughs> Next it's... game announced was <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy, which is going to be by like my quote of the day. Like, it's better because it's a woman. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's just like, and then you go to, like, this woman's history class. And I'm just like, dude, I'm trying to follow you. I'm so lost. Okay. So, next game that was announced was Hogwarts Legacy for 2021. Looks like, like a, dude, a cool game. That game looks pretty legit. It does look legit. The graphics were great. It's the, an open world RPG, which is something that a lot of people are hyped for. Yeah. A lot of fans have been waiting for that. Just the fact that, like, you can wander the school go into the forest that's right by the school and yep. see all the fantastic beasts and all that stuff that's yes cool. exactly and there's a town nearby too and it's like you create your own adventure kind of deal surprised to see that it's single player personally i think to keep it simple you gotta you know it'll probably be better but it seems like something that like you'd like to experience with like your other friends you know that's true you can make like a totally like i said earlier to you today you can make it a totally a gta style kind of game where it's a free world and everyone's doing their own thing but I think you're right. Like, if they're going to carry a story, maybe single player is the way to go. That's true. It, yeah. it was a surprise announcement. It kind of took everybody by storm. Not an exclusive, right? It was announced. No, it's not an exclusive. It was never announced. It was announced about... No, it leaked. Two it three, leaked. Two or three years ago. And we were like, this is fake. Or I it was, was canceled. Like, I thought it was canceled. Because it was... Yeah, I did the, I did too. Because it was for WB, Mon- WB Montreal. Yeah. And I was like, come on. They got to like... It's not Montreal, but no, it's WB, WB Games. I don't remember which exactly studios Something. doing it but because oh they have port key the fact That's that it's called. like on i don't i think it's on all but like just that they're releasing it for next gen like that's so cool it's crazy because back at the time you, next gen wasn't even like a thought in your mind yeah for real it's gonna be sick next game black ops cold war it's a black ops games you know but it looks kind of video games are popular because of cod and madden i don't play either of those yeah a lot of but, people love the new, what is it called? Uh, the free game. Fall Guys? No, for, for Call of Duty. It's not Modern Warzone. Warfare. Warzone. Warzone. People love Warzone, so it's going to... No, it's cool. It's always like the best seller. People love that game. It looked good. Yeah. Ah, hit the table. So it's coming out holiday 2020. So, so far the conference is like... Whew. It's like, yeah, but then once you get it... You got COD, Duty. you're like, all right, cool. We've seen COD every year. There it goes. Pato. So PlayStation is actually getting the multiplayer first, and it's actually tomorrow. That's when that okay. alpha starts for them. Today, for people that are listening. Yeah, true. Future you. Beta? No, nah, I don't know. Or alpha? Uh, yeah, it's called alpha. Yeah. Uh, no, but, yeah. Not nitpicking. So the gameplay shows a sniper, and they're going uh, for like some sort of terrorist or something like that that's mm-hmm. kind of about to get on a plane. Are talking about the same game or the next game? The same game. Black Ops. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then you go into like some car chase with the plane. Oh yeah, like Fast and the Furious. Yeah, it that looked baller. Hey, hey, Vinny. Hey, he's family. watching over us. Family, bro. Hey, family. You can have any brew you want. Hey, as long as, as, long it's, as corona. it's Corona. Hey, no Alexa Tuna. Hey, ride or die. Remember. Hey. 
Um, I'll live my life a quarter mile at a time. No more. Uh, a win's a win, baby. <laughs> this is like a back to four. Like who ends it on the last of Fast Furious quote? One last ride. <laughs> is that a quote? I think you got me. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. They probably say one last ride every day. <laughs> um... So you have an R- RCXT, I think it's what it's called, chasing down a plane, which looked totally unrealistic, but maybe those things go as fast as a plane, but then it blows it up at the end. It looked pretty pretty dang sick. Wait, an RC car blows up the plane? I'll, I'll be honest. I blacked out during that. I'm okay. just kind of like, I didn't really care. Yeah. It's Call of Duty. We've played Call of Duty. and But the story modes kind of vary. I played the Modern Warfare. No, it's great. I mean, yeah. like, the work, the teams work really hard. Yeah. Um, It's going to be cool. I, I just... It's just it's not your caught. thing. There's yeah. gonna be games that are like not a thing, you know. And that's oh yeah, everybody has definitely has their thing. Everyone has their own attention grabber, and that's know? like the most popular thing on the list. But that's like not something that I don't know. Play. I mean, maybe next one. This one definitely is not probably gonna be a game I play. But Resident Evil Eight: The Village. Mm-hmm. The only note I took that well, I took two notes for this. Comes out 2021. Okay. Second note: There's a creepy old lady in the trailer. That, that's that's, that's all I wrote. what you liked about it. He said, "All right, cool. I got <laughs> my <laughs> creepy old lady to satisfy my needs, and I'm good. <laughs> Sign me up. That's that's what you wrote down. Why would you write it down if you didn't like it? Obviously. I mean, I had to get. I had to tell what happened. You know, like it's cool. You know, Final Fan, uh <laughs> Resident Evil has a story. Yeah, and they're kind of going back to it's one of the older characters and 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 continuing that story. Yeah, we've been having some remakes for a while, so it's cool to see. It looked we- interesting. It had like." different art styles for the flashbacks and like a lot of crazy stuff going on i don't play those type of games but those players that do they're gonna love it good I for think. them you know yeah because it's cool good for you finally get a new good, good for you hey, punk. good for you good for you punk call me a punk punk you punk you're punk you're punk i feel like we're fighting a lot in this episode <laughs> No way. We no. never fight i would just thought like what's no. the poll if you were to vote if you think that me and austin fight <laughs> it's more <laughs> like one side of that you just yell at me I don't yell at you. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> You're like a chihuahua. All right. So cool. Resident Evil. That's cool. Resident Evil. Cool. Creepy old lady. Even cooler. All right. This <laughs> this is the game that's that you. I was not <laughs> I was not excited about at first, but then get out of here. This is the game I was not excited about at first, but then I watched this and I was like, you know what? Like, I'm excited for this. Death Loop. Oh, you Q2 2021. Oh. We can't whisper. They're not gonna, <laughs> Come not gonna, on! We already had audio issues oh, two episodes man. ago. <laughs> okay. Death so. Loop looks cool. That's by Bethesda, right? Yes. That's kind of the reason I didn't like it, because I don't play a lot of Bethesda games. And, like, I played Fallout 4, and I just wasn't hooked. But okay. this seems cool, because it's, like, you have a mission to go uh, go assassinate all eight of these people, but it's a puzzle detective kind of thing where... Dishonored style. This guy's not going to be here because he made a discovery today. So he's not going to go to this other assassin's party. So why do they call it Deathloop? Deathloop because every time you die, you get re- you restart. But I don't know if you restart the game completely. No, it's like or the just, level. So you're like, yeah. you have to master it so that you do it like in quote unquote, like your first try. But and when you die, you just restart. Yeah. It's cool. It's yeah. It de- I definitely they do like sold. puzzles and doors and like cool music and cool art style and all that stuff. That's cool. Um, it sounds fun. It does sound fun. Is it a, is it a full price game or? I think so. Yeah. 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 Maybe, it was maybe. supposed to be like a launch game. Did you know that? And it got delayed. Yeah. That's that sucks. But you know we'll get it. We have other launch games, which we'll get in that later too. Um, do you know how much what, what we're timed at down there? Do you see on the bottom right? 169 see that, that is not what it says you liar where do i look uh bottom right where the lead, red light is don't click on anything but sure brother we're at 30 minutes okay we're good we're good on time do you want to we're about at the halfway point do you want to talk about any write-ins or anything like that today do you have any write-ins i had write in um yeah. i forgot the username okay rhymes with puff puff austin oh. Uh, huff, uh, huff, no, huff, 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 huff. You sound huff. like a PBS show, dude. When I was in high school, kids used to chant my name. They'd be like, "Huff, huff," like down the hallway. I was cool. Really? Yeah. Why? What did you do to them? 
I, that was a bully, definitely. No. You were a bully? No way. Look at me. I could never be a bully. You got chanted in school? Yeah, there were What a lot. did you do? Because I was that nerdy kid that was cool, you know? Like, But I wasn't cool. I was like middle class cool, you know? So they chanted your name in high school? They were like, they just saw me like, they making social studies. They'd be like, huff, huff. And like, you know. All right. Yeah. Did they not chant your name? No. Ooh. Sucks to suck, I guess. Sucks to suck, for sure. Yeah. High school's a different story. I'm like, <laughs> but still, high still, school still stories. Leave. I'm like, that's not a good story. Still to live tell. in my prime of high school. I'm 20, <laughs> 20, years old, five years after. Oh man, you're like I used to get, I used to get like chanted in the hallways. In the hallways, it was like the best time of my life. I know some people that would t- probably that high school's probably the peak of their life. Probably they probably still think about it, but that's cool, man. Yeah, the next game was Devil May Cry Five. Yeah, it's a game that's already came out. It's a, it's a special edition. Looks so better. There's another person they added in there. There's a lot of cool facts about it, but it's a digitally at launch, so right, I, it'll be available to buy. Yeah, yeah. They like uh, they like uh, put more enemies in there. They have like a crazy. Uh, they have a couple new game modes. Mm. Uh, turbo mode, which was in the last game, and they also have a 120 frames per second mode. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. 120 fps yeah 1.25 1.2 times speed dude like it well it's different different things we're talking about yeah the turbo mode yeah and they have like you can do 4k at 30 Mm. i don't know that goes down to like where they have this crazy 120 frames per second mode something like that like it looks cool did we skip over your writing (laughs) you said it remember the huff oh yeah the huff huff, 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 huff. yeah no uh they were asking if you're excited about rogue we're like big star wars fans if we uh, are excited for rogue squadron or if they think that it's a uh, lame or what? Rogue what do you Squadron. Think? Rogue Squadron is going to be a great game. I think we're waiting until next gen to get it, right? I think if they're going to release a, a version of it on next gen. They will be on next gen. Because it's October, it's coming out. Have you seen the trailer for the new trailer? Yes. Dude, it was so it's Star so- Wars. Like, I got chills. I was hyped. I was like, this is sick. It was really cool. Anytime you can speak the language of Star Wars correctly like they did, I'm in. Yeah. That's cool. That's so cool. Dude, like the uh, cinematics. And great. like you can customize your ship and like all that stuff. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. The fact that we could all like two or like four of us like put on VR helmets and just be in Star Wars and play dog like online and like all we see is like we're in the cockpits and we're talking to each other and I see you there. It's like, dude, that, that sounds like future, like the future. For sure. But the future is here if you have the money for it. Dude, it's gonna be good. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're sitting there, like in your VR headset, and you're just, just running around the Death Star and like, yeah, shooting people down. Like, and then you're ta- also talking to your friends online. If you're sitting in like a computer chair where you're like rotating too, like you, you know, oh, like yeah, yeah, you're good, dude. That, that sounds really fun. It's gonna be cool. I hope my PSVR still works for PSV PS5. Right? They haven't even talked about that. Yeah, it was mostly just games they talked about. I think it's gotta be adaptable. It yeah, has it to has be. to be. Because it's basically it's the same price as a new console. Yeah, so, it's just a headset, so it'll it'll be it'll plug in. Did you say you didn't know who it was by that I write in? Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say it was for my dad or something. I forgot. Ah. Did you say my dad write it, wrote in again? Or are you saving that for later? I think that might have been your dad. <laughs> but there was a couple. There was a couple. Yeah. My do you email. need to pull? Do you need to pull them up? No. That I'll I'll check after after yeah we have to move through this we'll do more later okay so i mean odd world soul storm was announced i don't play odd world games it looks cool skip that one some alien platformer we're not playing that you know it's true this one shout out to alex broughton five nights at freddy's security breach what is that it's five you've never you know five nights at freddy's no i never played it never it's just it's just a scare game a jump scare game okay where you you're basically the security guy of like a chuck e cheese Okay. And Chuck E. Cheese and his friends come to life and try to kill you. So is it a new game or is it a uh, remaster? This is going to be a new game. Oh, okay. But it's a series. Okay, that looks cool. Like yeah. the neon lights looked really good in the new console. Yeah, definitely. Five Nights of Freddy's Security Breach. Cool. Next one is Demon Souls. Dude. So I never played this game Same. when it came out. I don't even know like what console came out. If it was a PS2 game or a PS3. Is this? What do you think about it? Looks cool. Uh, it's Dude, very looks really good. It's a very interesting. You know what reminds me of? Huh? Dragon Slayer. You ever played Dragon Slayer 3D? Mm, no. It looks like that. Like you're like medieval times. Obviously, it looks like 
the Souls games because where, like you know, yeah, Bloodborne and stuff like looks really hard, but the graphics were pretty gorgeous. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna play it. You gonna play Demon Souls? Maybe, maybe. It looks interesting. It's gonna be a lot of like the gameplay's not so fast paced. No, but it's like. very combat heavy. Yeah, definitely. Because you need to be able to parry and yep. use your sword and shield correctly. Mm-hmm. But I think it's like permadeath. Like if you, no, like, it's not. Like you it, reset. You, you start from the level, but you don't like oh, start don't the game over. over. No, what you game just is die that? a lot. Is it Bloodborne that you start all over? No. no, no, but you just die a lot, and you have to start from your latest campfire. Oh, uh, okay. Like your save point. That's a, yeah. And you die a lot if you're not good at it. Yeah, it's a hard game. It's supposed to be. Next one. Uh... Hey, did you know that Fortnite's going to be on the PS5? Hey. <laughs> hey, it's on my top five list, right? So you <laughs> play it all the time. No. I wasn't going to say that. It's, it's not really a shocker no. that yeah, Fortnite's... Yeah, Fortnite is coming. I mean, I don't know if it's we're supposed to say it. Like, oh, it, it looks looked good. really good. Yeah. But the graphics look good. I think every graphics is going to look good, but yeah. It looks I, I know good. I put it on my top five, and I stick with that. You know, if I say something like, if we agree that Wii Sports beat... Smash Brothers Ultimate. We can't backpedal and be like, you know what? You're right. We suck. No, we have to stick with it. You're right. And stick with our reasons. Even though, look. Look. Changing subjects. Obviously, I like Smash Brothers. I have a Smash Brothers special edition controller hanging on my wall. He never played it. Never played it. Yeah, never played it. Never played it. No. It It was a tough decision, but I told Emmerich in the car the next day. No For the same reason. I was like... I was like, hey, you're telling me you're going to pick up that Smash Bros and go play with your daughter and your wife and son? Like, at their age? When, like, maybe they're five years old? Maybe. Like, let's throw down on Smash Bros. I'm just going to say this. Huh. Maybe if you were good at Smash Bros. Oh, that reminds me. Then maybe you like it better. Okay. That was a diss. One. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Remember when, <laughs> remember when Scarlet was first born and we were like, this child's. <laughs> will yeah. be the answer to Jace yeah, I'm always st- being a yeah. Smash Bros. I'm, pro- I'm programming her to be a better player than I am. <laughs> programming her yeah. like a robot? Yeah. She will be the an- like. She's she good. will be the Smash Bros. She's going to main like three characters. Mm. She's going to main Peach because Peach can be really good. Okay. She holds out Toad. Just like... Yeah. She's going to she's gonna main Zelda okay. because she's a princess. They're all princesses. And then Rosalina or Elsa. Spoilers. Definitely Elsa. <laughs> What's the character's real name? Rosalina. Rosalina. She's on... She's going to destroy the wood burn. So... The just, wood. The wood. The wood. Extra That wood. reminds me! 3D All-Stars is coming out tomorrow, bro. Did you pre-order it? No. Oh, dude. You're going to get tomorrow? You're going to be playing Mario? Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm Mario excited. 64 for the first time. Yes. Congrats. I think that's what I should do first. I have to go chronological. Yeah, order. because you don't. Plus, I it's an older Galaxy. game. Yeah, you don't want to. You want to start with the oldest, and it's going to get better as you exactly. progress. Yeah, we can relive what you got the you physical guys. edition. Yeah, that's have cool. To. Because then you'd be like, someone's going to come in your house and be like, "You got that? That only sold it till yeah. March." I'm, like, I'm trying to beat Avengers, so I'm going to try to do that do, first. Do it. I'm on last level. I haven't played it oh, since a, in a it's week. It's been a crazy week. Yeah, it's been yeah. a crazy week. Yeah, stuff's getting back into to to kick. You have like two jobs, dude. Like you don't even like have a day off. I don't have a single day off. I work every weekend <laughs> and you work every, every day, day, and you go to school. Yep, two jobs and school. Mm-hmm. Gotta respect the grind. <laughs> the grind, rise and uh, grind. It sucks. <laughs> well, you're almost over. you're almost done, man. We'll see. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so next thing that was announced. The PlayStation Plus Collection. Dude, I was impressed by this. This is a great opportunity for people. If you didn't get a PS4 and you're getting a PS5, yeah, you missed out on the... So what is the what is it? What is the PlayStation Plus, Plus collection? collection? So first let's talk about PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus is a, is a subscription where you pay $60 a year. You can get free games a month. It used to be that was the only way you could chat with your friends, but somehow you can chat with your friends without it now. Hmm. But now, this is called the PlayStation Plus Collection, so I have a feeling you'll get the PlayStation Plus, and all these games will come with it upon launch of the PS5. So it's for the PS5 only. PS5 only. And it's a collection of PS4 games. And you have the PS Like Plus. 15 of the best games. Yes. I'm going to name them real quick. Cool. God of War, Blood War, Bloodborne, Monster Hunter World, Final Fantasy 15, 
Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat X, Uncharted 4, Ratchet and Clank, Days Gone, Until Dawn, Detroit, Battlefield 1, Infamous 2 Second Son, Arkham Knight, Last Guardian, Last of Us Remastered, Persona 5, RE7 Biohazard. So how many is that? A lot. That is a lot. Times that by 60, that's a lot of value there. For real. I was seeing, I got kind of funny, they were like, oh yeah, like, oh, but like, if you're a hardcore fan and you played all these games, right? I'm like, dude, who played... has who has the amount of money to buy all those games? That's a lot of time, too. You know? Yeah. I haven't played some of those games, so I'm definitely going to check it out. It's yeah. Great. I haven't played Ratchet and Clank, and I wanted to, and I was just like, go. yeah, you know. I'm glad I never bought uh, Gotta Work, because I can play that for free. True. Uh, and then last the last guardian i thought about that one point yeah it looks a little clunky but that was like oh persona 5 yes i'm gonna play persona 5 when it comes out on that same yeah we've talked about that yeah definitely to know it's a lock um after that what do they do here so after that um it's the the price Uh, really we're already at the end great yeah so the the guy came out gave us his thank you you know i don't remember what's the prices so the ps5 of the the normal version, I don't know if there's an official way, but it's four ninety nine ninety nine, and the digital version is thirty nine three ninety nine ninety nine. So four hundred bucks for the cheaper model, without a disc drive, digital only, digital only. Can't buy a disc. You gotta just download it. Yep. The but the downloads are just supposed to be better. Yep. The file sizes are supposed to be smaller. So, I mean, you have a good. terabyte almost. You have eight hundred twenty five gigs, I believe, of SSD space. Yeah. Eventually, it's, it's gonna burn up. Yeah, so I saw that the two terabyte um, memory card mm-hmm. was like one hundred and fifty bucks or two hundred bucks for two Honestly, for two more terabytes. That is not bad because no. I think that's how much a terabyte is for a PC. Yeah, thing. so you, it's definitely upgradable for yeah. especially for the digital one. That's it's good. funny because you pay less for the digital one, but then you got to go buy something to buy more memory. Yeah, so that's how they get you though. It's like. They gotta make money after. Depends the... on how much you game. If you're if you're looking to game, and you play COD and Madden and Two K, you really won't be needing to transfer things over. You're good. Which is yeah. the most popular gamer out there is plays those games. I mean, they come GTA, out every maybe, year. Maybe GTA on top of that. Like those are your games. Yeah. Oh, not to mention GTA is gonna be there on launch. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. For free, right? Yeah, I've never played it. It's fun. The biggest media property to ever be released on ever played. They it. have made so much money off that game, dude. Yeah, unbelievable. Is it fun? It is very fun. Yeah, I watch. It's funny because like I never played it, but I will watch YouTube videos, the conspiracy videos about like trying to find Bigfoot and all this and the jetpack. Like is I'm there? all in. I've been all in. I just don't play it. It's fun. That's really cool. Yeah, and you, there's heist. That's what was really so, so we're like. So he came out back in 2015. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and I remember in high school because we were that's, like, talk about building a platform. Yeah, great. Because we were like, bro, wait till heists, and we had to wait months for heists. What are you doing, Longhorns, baby? <laughs> Longhorns. Yeah. Uh, so the PS5 comes out on November twelfth for the US, and I forget the other countries. Yeah, look, and then it comes uh, out on November twelfth, and then the other countries, it's gonna be November nineteenth. Yeah, there's a list of them, so check check where you are. I wonder if they're going to have stock that's not the pre-order or what. They have to. They have to. Maybe, the, man. If you want to make money, I mean, I get you're in demand, but, like, you still want to make, like, you're, this is the most money a PS5 is going to be, you know? Mm-hmm. Why not try to sell the most you can right now? No, they, it's, that's, they want to. It's yeah. the manufacturing demand, you know? Yeah. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's all fake, and they just want us to think that there's not very many, and that's why we're all buying it. I think there's plenty of PS5s. Yeah. COVID, man. Possibly. Never know. And there was one more thing. There was the one more thing. The last thing of the show, PlayStation closed off with a God of War 2 announcement for 2021. We don't know if it's God of War 2. It is God of War 2. We know it's called Ragnarok. It's called Ragnarok. Could be a prequel. Could be a 1.5. It's another game of God of War, though. And yeah. that was, you know, their heavy hitter. But they don't have to show anything for it because no. I think it will get pushed back, though. It's their metric. You think? So you're calling it. Boom. I'll say they have a heavy plate. We should do slap bets. Slap bets? Yeah. On the show. Yeah. It's just like, then I get up and bet. Yeah. Push. I absolutely think that we should do more slap bets just because we both like uh, How I Met Your Mother great show Ooh, yeah yeah, yeah. okay Love that show i think we should do it okay so we'd if, have uh, to... ragnarok comes out uh without being delayed i get to slap you 
So you get a whole year of 2021. Yeah, well, you said it. Okay. Uh, you have to agree to it, of course. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. Let's go. My subs. All right. So I then I got to make a bet. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. Cool. Hmm. We'll think of one, bro. We'll think of we'll one. We'll think of one. And well, I mean, like, then if it goes the other way around, I'll get slapped. Yeah. yeah. So the PS5 event, everybody's excited for Spider-Man, but there's a lot of great stuff in there. Yeah, definitely. They they truly came out. You know? Do you think they're going to have an event for showing what the the operating system looks like and all that stuff in the features, or are they just going to say figure it out when it comes out? Maybe a blog. A blog post? Yeah, Maybe. they've been doing that. Yeah. That's a good call. Just showing off the UI. Yeah, I can't wait to hold that controller, dude, and just have it on the 4K TV. Because we're, we're both going from base, base PlayStation 4s yep. to PS5. So we didn't do the mid-jump, nothing like that. Let's go. It's going to be good, man. We're ready. So, uh, yeah, dude. So, I got an extra PS5 pre-order. So, if anybody uh, really desperately needs one, let me know. Mm-hmm. I'm looking just to help somebody out. I'm, I'm not yeah. looking to just... Uh, Ice bitter joke was just a joke. Yeah, but. we're not really like that. We want to, you know, help, the, help our friends that weren't able to get in there. Because the Best Buy website... Dude, so I, I wouldn't say how hard we tried to get pre-orders, did we? I was I was trying to go to bed. <laughs> like, yeah, you were like, I'm going to bed, and I'm like, all right, like, it was last night. Go to sleep, you know. But I'm trying. Yeah. And then I got one, and then Angelica got one. Yep. And then you never got one. Or I was like, I got I got me one. Angelica got you one. And mm-hmm. we're like, all right, well, we have other friends. And Jace got one, and I'm like, I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm gonna try again. Originally it was for Jace, but Jace got his. Yeah, well, I was just like, all right. And I got it. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I know that somebody will want it because it's like the thing. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Brandon? Is it going to be Amrick? Is it going to be Joe Huff? Joe Huff? I haven't asked Joe Huff. Joe. 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 Joe Huff. Joseph. Joe. Jacques-Rémy. <laughs> Who? Are you trying to do? It's French. <laughs> I thought you were about to be like, B. Ratatouille. Oh. <laughs> Guess. B. Oh. Guess, be our guest. Let's <laughs> hump into my chest. I don't know. Oh, uh, dude, no, we're excited for PlayStation. It's going to be sick. We are looking to uh, totally, we're, we're going to collaborate with uh, some other YouTube channels. Yeah. So shout out to them. They're awesome. We love you guys. You know, uh, write, us, write us in your subjects like you always do, Gameside Podcast at gmail.com. And we're going to keep this thing rolling. We're chilling. We'll be more active on Instagram and all that stuff. Keep the lights on. Uh, congratulations to the winners of the giveaways. Um, we messaged them, and, and once we get those out, we will uh, post more about it. But that's that's a really cool thing. Um, anything you want to shout out? Anybody you want to shout out? I want to shout out to Kyler Murray and DeAndre Kyler Hopkins. Murray. All right, cool. You know what? <laughs> Getting the dub. You're all about the Cardinals, man. I'm full, full send. I totally got whipped by your sister at Final Fantasy this week, so I'm just, you know what? She, I don't know what she did. If she she spanked my little booty, is what she did. Yeah, she did. And that cannot happen. I'm facing your brother. We're we're switching here. You played my sibling, and now I'm gonna play your sibling at fantasy football this week. Mm. That's interesting. You're playing Chris. You're you're screwed, bro. I'm playing Chris. Oh boy. I want to win really bad. Now. That's all I'm saying. This is the person, right? That one. Who? That can't say names. I don't know what you're talking about. Bro. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. All right. Well, yeah, we'll put up on Instagram who got the win. So yeah, dude. Yeah, hey man, check out uh, some other people if you're if you're into games, you're trying to get into games. Um, go check out this new website called Marispawn Games. Yeah. Awesome. Their website's awesome. Like they put a lot of work into it. I, I went on their website and I checked out like the articles. Like this this guy is really passionate about what he does and I have a lot of respect for what he's doing over there, man. It's Marcy really Penn crazy. Is a game side best friend. He's been Game supporting. Side Best Friend. Day one. He's been there. We know. don't know you know you, but we let's have you on the podcast. Let's chat. You know, next week we're gonna we're gonna have a crazy topic, so we're looking forward to it. Let's do it. We love video games. Alright guys. Thank you for listening to the podcast. We're on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcast. Yo, throw us a review, bro. Ta- subscribe. Say, These guys are crazy, man. Like, they're legit.
We are legit. So, too legit. Thank you too to legit. another episode of GameSide Chat, episode six. Game, Game side, side out. out.